Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another match day vlog. Now, a few things to say before we get into it. I have had COVID, so that is why there hasn't been a vlog for three weeks now. I do apologise. Um, I tested negative on Thursday and last night and today. So I'm all clear, I'm all good, uh, and my isolation is finished. So I'm back, and the first thing I'm doing is getting back to the football. It is another away day. Today we face Shrewsbury away from home. Should be interesting. Obviously, they haven't had the start they wanted. We beat them at our place 2-1. Uh, but no doubt, obviously, with the form we're on, it could be difficult today. But we'll wait and see how it goes. If I'm going to give a score prediction, again, it's a difficult one to predict. I'm going to say a 2-0 to Cheltenham. I'm feeling confident today. And it's very rare that I say that, even against sides like Shrewsbury, which we've already beaten, that aren't on the best form. Um, that's just the way I am. I have weird opinions on things. Um, but yeah, your score predictions will be on the screen now. If you do want to enjoy this video, please do smash like and subscribe. I would massively appreciate that. We're on the road to 800 subscribers. So if you could help me hit that, I would massively appreciate it. But yeah, let's get down to the ground to cast the coach. Right then, so the lineups are now out and pretty good score on the whole i'm liking the look of it other than pollock is not starting looks like we're playing a four back with three up front that being williams joseph and alfie may uh, andy williams looks to be the central of those three uh, by the sounds of things um raglan and sean long starting as the center back partnership crowley chapman both getting the start as well uh, evans also in goal um, it's good to see him back in. I think he deserved a chance after some dodgy form from Flinders to, you know, prove that he can be our starting goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, decent lineup. Let's go to kick off. No Shrewsbury, um, probably deserved. We started absolutely awfully. Credit to them, they don't look like a bad side. Like where they are in the league, the way they're playing, they look like a very, very good side. But we've got to be defending that. We've got to be defending that goal. Like their man is completely free for starters. The man who got the cross in shouldn't have been allowed to get the cross in. They took their chance at the end of the day. Fair enough, they deserve to be one up, but. 
we've got to be preventing that. And I think, I don't know, maybe with Colwick in the team, maybe playing the three centre backs that he usually would, we might have had a chance of defending that. So I don't know, but we've started what we've left off in previous games, very poor, and I'll be surprised if we can get anything out of this game because we don't look at it at all today and we're not long into the game at all. So that's bad signs, but yeah, one no shoes, bro. from close range which they deserve to be goals and their keeper has made two absolutely incredible saves and we've had a shot cleared off the line honestly I don't know how we're not winning this game since pretty much since their goal we've been by far the better side um, I don't even know what's happened we just we just look way way better and they they're fumbling their chances big time so yeah, I mean, we need to take our chances in this game because there's a win, there's a win there waiting for us if we take our chances. Come on, get 
Obviously it's too much to screw through, but we're getting plenty of chances. Um, we're probably not the better team out of the two, but we're getting our chances. We've got to start taking them because we've just hit the crossbar from a shot from Andy Williams. Nice play over the top, headed down by I believe Joseph. Um, and then it tapped above the goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper was helpless. Um, probably for the first time in the game I've done what we scored. And hit the crossbar, went over, um, we need to take a chance and that's from the story of the season, but one chance taken and that changes this game completely, so we need a goal desperately. Get it on there, just get it down.
five minutes out of goal and by this point, just blow the whistle. Honestly, it's it's shambolic performance. Um I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on at the moment, but it, it, it's awful um, and something's got to change because these last three performances have not been good enough to put it simply. Fair play to Shrewsbury today. They were not bad. They, you know, they look a better team than their league position says. Um, but I think that was helped quite a bit today by how poor we were. Second half performance, absolutely shambolic. And you know, yes, you're looking. Yes, we hit the bar. Yes, we got a bit unlucky at times. No excuse. With the chance we had in the first half, should have gone in a half-time lead. In we've got a chance now, but it probably won't come to anything. We've got badly adding on forwards. Well, we've done the same thing over and over again in this game. Just play out to the right hand side, cross it in, and it tends to go over everyone. We've crossed it in again. It's headed into the back of that player's head. We've gone a corner, but five minutes out of gone. Pretty much too low, too late. Um, I don't even think we'll get another goal on this, to be honest. Guys, that is it for today's match day vlog. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, poor result, poor performance, but like I can't complain. The performance is poor, poor. It was deserved in the end. Um, got to do better. Um, good banter between fans. Um, good atmosphere as well. Um, but yeah, got to be doing better in the end. But yeah, it is what it is. We move on to uh, Plymouth at home on Boxing Day. That's not going to be fun. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please do smash like if you did enjoy, subscribe, all that good stuff. But yeah, have a gosh, just do day, lads, and I'll see you in the next one.